Hi guys and welcome back to another episode where today I'm trying to solve a problem which I've been ignoring for some time. Just look at the garage, it's become a bit of a running joke. Every time I try to get in the garage, it's like that TV show, Ninja Warrior, The Obstacle Course. Now I like a joke, but in all seriousness, it isn't sustainable. I do have a plan however, and don't worry, it doesn't involve selling any of these beauties. Ugh. So guys, hit the subscribe button and let's get into the video. So, as you guys will know, I've bought a lot of two-stroke jet skis. And the thing is about jet skis is they normally come with trailers, which to any normal buyer of a jet ski, you'd be thinking, yeah, well, that's a good thing, Joe. However, in my case, I have seven, so space is at a premium, so these jet ski trailers are taking up vital space. So I'm at the point now where every jet ski, every greedy jet ski has got his own trailer. Now realistically, when we go riding, I tow one jet ski, my dad can tow another, so that's two jet skis realistically. Now every jet ski sat on a trailer, that's taken up way more space than it needs. So realistically, I just need two master trailers. These classics from the 90s typically come with old rusty trailers. As you can see here, the wheels already perish and I've already replaced the other side. And as much as I like restoring old classic trailers, I really don't need to anymore. I've got two brand new trailers. So these ones are just taking up unnecessary space. Now for anyone who follows the channel, you'll know I've got two custom trailers, which I'm very proud of. My brand new 750 roller, my first ever roller, fully custom powder coat trailer, said custom quite a few times, directly from Extreme Trailers, and my 350, my beloved 350, which I customized three years ago, even before Extreme customized trailers. So these are going nowhere. But if you are interested in seeing more about the 750 and the purchase day and me picking it up and ordering it and everything else that goes with it, then watch this video here. But if you're also interested in restoring a trailer, you're like, no, Joe, I want to restore my old trailer then come with me and transforming it into a fully custom powder coat trailer then watch their series here where it's like eight or nine parts i lost track in the end customizing and making this look as fancy as this <laughs> So what's the solution I hear you saying? So here's the plan. I'm gonna be selling all of these old rusty trailers, plus I'm gonna be selling my virtually brand new SBS bunk trailer. I will be making a video in the near future explaining why I sold my SBS trailer so soon after getting it and why I've changed exclusively for extreme trailers, but that is a long story, a story that forms part of a much bigger story time. However, the focus of this video is about saving space, getting rid of old trailers, and basically showing the logic of how hopefully I can generate more room in the garage without getting rid of any of the beloved skis. Leaving me with two master trailers, the 750 for my larger two strokes, the XPDI and the Wave Raider, and then as my beloved 350 bunk, which I'll be keeping for my smaller two strokes, like the 91 XP, the Blaster, the SP, the skis that will fit more naturally on the 350. Not to confuse things anymore, but I will be selling this at a later point. Stay with me. Now, as much as I love this 350 bunk, which I spent hours customizing, its colour scheme doesn't match the skis it will be carrying. Stay with me. The 91 XP is green and purple, doesn't go with red. The SP, the 90, 1990 SP, is yellow and blue, doesn't go with red. And the blaster is teal, which doesn't go with red. Now, some of you guys might be screaming at the thing going, what are you on about, Joe? That is so finickety. But for me, it's got to match. So it's got to be a neutral 350. Therefore, I will be configuring a brand new neutral colourway. <laughs> but it makes sense in my head. Neutral colorway, 350. As to be fair, 
Extreme have sneaked in some modifications. The specifications improve slightly now on the trailer and they do it direct from manufacturer so I can get exactly this spec in the colorways I want. They've got some new fancy, if you haven't seen it already in the 750 collection day, little U-bolt clamp protectors, which I want. Now I love this trailer. It's been fantastic for the last three years. It will be hard to see it go, but it does need to match the other skis. So guys, that was a long way, a long winded way of telling you, I'm gonna be getting rid of a lot of these old trailers. I'm gonna be keeping two master trailers and then all of the rest of the jet skis that are not on the two master trailers will be set on these. So guys, I've been down to Southampton for the fourth time, getting a bit addicted to going to extreme trailers, and I've seen my good old friend Ross, where I've managed to bag myself five extreme custom showroom powder coated dollies. I mean, just look at them. Ross and the extreme team, as always, have came through. I mean, just look at it. The quality of the extreme products are just phenomenal. And it's not a product ad, so before you all goes, oh, Joe, you're just promoting it because it's a product ad, it's absolutely not. I just fully endorse this brand. These dollies, honestly, guys, I'm no joke. They are super strong and durable. They are the real deal. And if you're like me, and you like to pretend that you're riding a jet ski whilst it's in the garage, these dollies are even strong enough. Make sure you're in your Crocs to not wear shoes. And flick them off. They're strong enough to sit on and pretend you're riding. Never get the jet ski noise right, but it's amazing that they're strong enough. Therefore, the ski's not in use at a given time. We'll sit on the dollies. And then when I want to ride one of these jet skis, I'll lift them off uh, onto one of the trailers. Well, I won't lift them off on my own. My dad will help, obviously. But the principle is they can go straight from the dolly to one of the two master trailers. Well, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to get the jet skis off their trailers and onto the dollies, which means one thing. The main man is here to give me a hand to lift them. My dad's here. <laughs> So the logic worked. Look at them. I mean, just look at these skis all in a line. And this is only one, two, three, four. There's only four of them. Once I get the remaining two on, oh no, one or two megs. I've lost track. How many? Four. Once we get them all in a line, and maybe at some point take the wall down, Megan, and then we can get more in a line, we get hate check and stuff. But these dollies just create additional space, necessary additional space. And I've got to be honest, it just makes them look as if you're going into a showroom and actually look at these, like, which one would you like, sir? Would you like a GSX, a Wave Raider, a Blaster? I mean, 
Can you imagine that? That would be goals, but this is as close as what you're gonna get. So guys, you guys ask me all the time, Joe, can we see more behind the scenes stuff? And you can't get more behind the scenes than showing you a problem that I've been dealing with behind the scenes for a long, long time. And this actually is a real sort of problem solving technique. If you are someone like me, that has a bit of an obsession with buying skis. The other great thing about these dollies is the bunk height is virtually identical to the trailer bunk height. So you can get away with just lining the actual bunk up with the back of the trailer and sliding it on. Of course, it's always better to lift it if you can, but it just reduces that problem of changing height, which is always obviously the back-breaking work. Megan's just asked me, Joe, can you winch these on? You actually can even line them up, not even pull them, just hook the front on, winch them on, obviously lock the dollies, which is the great reason why they've got obviously the locking caster wheels, and obviously put some stops in front of the trailer and pull it straight on. So guys, as always, a big thank you for watching these videos, tuning in, hitting the subscribe button, hitting the like button. Your support, ultimately, I know I say it all the time, it probably sounds like a broken record at this point. I really like to thank you because it allows me to keep making these videos and sharing the passion with you. As much as I like buying these skis, buying them, knowing them, I can show them to you is what makes it so much more exciting. And if you're liking this so far, then hit the subscribe button because there is a big, big announcement, a controversial big announcement coming soon on the channel with a new ski that's going to be added to the channel, which will see me heroing these in a very, very unorthodox way. I'm not going to say any more. Hit the subscribe button. More information is going to be coming soon on my Instagram, so make sure you're tuned into my Instagram as well because lots of updates go on there. And as always, guys, by subscribing, you are helping keep the classics alive. Thanks for watching, guys.